I just cracked an ostrich egg at the bottom of the ocean. And I was able to begin to peel away the shell. The yolk inside was unlike anything I had ever seen before. I had to rush to the surface, but I couldn't leave my egg down there. I slowly began to crack the shell away from the egg one piece at a time. I finally stuck my hand in and pulled her out. Look at my sweet baby. She's huge. As I marveled at her massive beauty, I saw a large shadow approaching. This turtle honestly scared the crab out of me. I have to protect my egg friend from this turtle. Recently, I built this thing so that I could drop two GoPros to the bottom of the ocean to see what they would see. They have a protective housing that's rated for 200 feet deep, so that's what we're aiming for today. I attached it to a fishing line so that I could actually get it back, and now we're going to look at what kind of footage the GoPros captured. Wow, we finally reached the bottom. This is 200 feet deep. It's as deep as the protective cases can go. To be honest, this is kind of what I expected. It's not like there's just going to be fish everywhere at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, wait a second. There's like a ton of fish. Why weren't we catching anything while we were fishing then? What a scam. What are they all just hanging out down here and not biting hooks? They must have been really curious about what this thing was because this fish came straight up to it and was like, hi, what are you? I had no idea what I was looking at from the surface, so I was nervous that it could be caught or obstructed by something. So I pulled it up so that I could be sure that I would at least see something. Still, it was amazing to look down from about five feet above the ground on the ocean floor, almost 200 feet deep. Recently, I brought this plastic bottle out into the ocean because I wanted to show you guys what would happen if I took it to the bottom and filled it up with air. I unscrewed the cap and then I gave the mouth of the bottle a little kiss while I exhaled and very carefully and precisely filled it up with air. Then I put the cap back on so that none of the air would escape. And now we're gonna go back up to the surface and see what's gonna happen to it. Feel it. She said that it was so hard from the pressure that she could barely squeeze it. When she handed it back to me, the pressure had built up so much that I just touched the tip of it and it exploded. The cap went like 20 feet in the air. Don't worry, of course we found the cap and made sure that nothing got left in the ocean. Can I make an extra crispy Coke? Nice. By cracking it open at the bottom of the ocean. I gathered a group of crispy Coke connoisseurs who were all waiting with bated breath to see if the pressure of the ocean would crispify the Coke the way that the machines at the Golden Arches do. So I grabbed my Coke bottle and the dive light I'll be using to crack it open and I swam down to the bottom. I cracked it open as I lifted it up to take a sip. I expected to be tasting straight fish pee. What I ended up with was the most delightful, ultra crispy, sea salted rim version virgin rum and coke I've ever had. I heard that if you crack an egg at the bottom of the ocean, something crazy happens. So I wanted to try it out. It's about 45 feet deep here. When I went to crack it, I realized my thumbnails weren't that strong. So I went back to the surface for a breath. Oh, hey, Brittany, look at the rainbow. Anyways, I went back down and I cracked it open with the other camera. And as I pull it apart, you can see the clear part of the egg sticks to the top. I wanted to make sure that the egg all stayed together. So I slowly peeled away the pieces of the bottom shell until it would fall out. 